Hey there folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you about these, the Moscow Motor Scout 25 litre panniers. I want to give you my long term review on them. So the Scout 25s, if you haven't seen my original video, go and check it out up here. Um, I go through all the specs, the costs and all that in that video. Now we've, ha we've had these panniers for almost a year and a half now. Um, these are mainly Danny's panniers, but I have used them a couple of times to get a feel for them and compare them to my backcountry 35s. Now, some of the good points about these panniers is they are completely adjustable. You've got straps here, here, here and here, so you can make this a lot wider. Now these are 25 litres a side, but I reckon you can pack quite a bit more into there. If you are at a hotel or anything, or if you're camping and you want to take them out, just a couple of clips and you can take the bag out. Uh, this leaves this piece here, so if you're going shopping, you can put a shopping bag in there, secure up and carry your shopping away. So when you're not using the bags, it folds down something like that. The straps all come together and hold it in tight to the bike. Now, good points about these bags is, Fully waterproof, we've tested them in all kinds of weather, never leaked. Uh, they're very lightweight. Um, I really like the material that it's made out with, it feels real nice. Um, you've got backpack straps in here. So under this, in that zip there, there's backpack straps which clip onto the bottom here. Um, they're real handy, if we're going out anywhere we just use that as a rucksack. It's a good size for a day pack very handy. On this side I've been using the the moly the moly pouches so I'll show you that. So that's the two moly. These are the two two litre moly pouches. I run them here. I keep some tools in there and I keep my tent poles and pegs in there. Uh, that keeps everything out of the way. I really like that setup. Uh, something that's a bit of a pain in the arse the first couple of days if you're on a big trip is these traps because they're so adjustable which is good and in some way um, if you're changing your items around you've got to constantly faff around with these and adjust them to your load um, as you can see all the straps have tidies on them so once you've got your pack and sorted and you're not changing what's in between the bags you just clip them in and clip them out again which makes it a lot simpler it's just the first couple of days when you're getting your pack and sorted out it's a bit of a faff um, they're, they're pretty strong as you can see there, there's a couple of scratches there, but if you watch my dusty butt videos you'll see I I hit the ground pretty hard and pretty pretty constantly, but like I said there's only a couple of scratches there, nothing to really worry about. Um, some of the downsides to these panniers, there's only a couple of downsides. Um, they are a wee bit heavier than your standard, say compared to your Wolfman saddlebags which sit in the seat because it is rack mounted and um, you've got this aluminium piece here so it is a slightly heavier setup than the Wolfman. Uh, a couple of times Danny came off her bike she banged a leg on this corner here although it's not sharp it did give her quite a bad bruise both times uh, that's just how you fall off like I said if you watch my videos you see I fall off heaps I've never caught that with my leg but both times she fell off she did so that's quite a downside for her about them. And I suppose the only other downside would be the price. I think they're around about 400 American dollars. Which is quite a lot of money for a small a small pannier like that, in my opinion. But you, you pay that for the Wolfman ones near enough anyway. That's pretty much it for these panniers. That's all the good points that we've noticed. All the very few bad points as you can see so overall we're very happy with these panniers so thanks for watching guys stay tuned to the channel and i'll have my back company 35 pannier review up shortly if you've got these panniers or you think about getting them comment below and i'll uh, get back to you if you've got any more questions about them uh, thanks again for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one see you